Hey guys, my name is Brandon and today we're going to take a look at the new changes in iOS 10 beta 3. So the change log is quite extensive with most of those changes actually being bug fixes, but there are also a few new features hidden in there as well. So let's go ahead and get right to it. So the very first new feature is a big one if you are a Pokemon Go player like myself. AR mode now works with iOS 10 beta 3. So this is a big letdown for myself and many others that were on iOS 10 beta 2 when Pokemon Go came out because you actually were not able to use the augmented reality feature. So now with beta 3, you are able to use AR mode and capture all those Pokemon in real life. So the notification center has a slight animation change. It actually looks a lot more sleek than it did in the previous two betas. You now get haptic feedback when locking your device or if you enter the wrong fingerprint for Touch ID or if it just can't pick up your fingerprint, you will get some haptic feedback. You'll feel the slight vibration if you are on an iPhone 6S or above. There's also a new sound when locking the device. So now you get a brand new sound that we've never heard before when locking your device. So one of the biggest features in iOS 10 that had a lot of mixed reviews was the fact that you needed to press the home button to unlock your device. You had to physically press it, whereas in iOS 9 you just had to have your fingerprint over the sensor, you didn't have to press anything. But with beta 2, the rest finger to open option came about and the bad thing is that it didn't actually work. So I got it to work a couple times on camera, but I would say that 98% of the time the rest finger to open option did not work in beta 2. But lo and behold, the feature has been fixed for beta 3 and now all you have to do is rest your finger on the Touch ID sensor and you will unlock your device without having to press the home button. The old keyboard clicks from beta 1 are back. So in beta 1 we had new keyboard clicks and then beta 2 they reverted back to the default what we have in iOS 9 and now in beta 3 it's back to the beginning where we have the new keyboard clicks. So in the music app we now have a shuffle all option at the top of music so this is a big feature for anybody that uses music a lot and in beta 2 and beta 1 actually there was no shuffle button for all songs and then in beta 2 they added the little shuffle button at the top of songs but it's kind of hard to tap I know myself I tried tapping it before you know while I was on beta 2 for a couple weeks and I would actually miss that little shuffle button so it's great that they added this new text that says shuffle all it's a lot easier to press and it's a, a very welcome feature but unfortunately the downloaded music text is back so this is something super small that a lot of people will not care whatsoever about but in beta 1 it actually said downloaded music and then in beta 2 i really love the fact that apple changed it to just downloads because everything on this page is just one line of text just one word and downloaded music just looks kind of out of place so i really liked when it said downloads but now it's back to downloaded music for beta 3. Also in music, the search feature now defaults to your library instead of Apple Music or Apple Radio. So now text message replying from the lock screen or home screen has been fixed. So in beta 2, the keyboard would sometimes not show up or it would just glitch out, but that has all been fixed with beta 3. So now in the health application, there's a new option or basically an opt-in to share your health and fitness data with Apple to improve the application. Also, there's a video walkthrough button that doesn't work. And if you go to the different sections, you can see that there's a video there, but it doesn't actually play. So this is something that I expect to be in iOS 10, the final version, or even in beta four or five. Another small, subtle, but very cool change is the lock screen clock actually merges into to the status bar. So before when you scroll down past the clock, it would actually just disappear and you wouldn't be able to see the time, but now it actually merges up into the status bar for a nice cool subtle look. And the final feature I'll be sharing today is that you can now save files to iCloud Drive. So this is very useful if you want to download software or something that you just can't download onto your iPhone, you can actually send it straight to iCloud Drive. So those are just some of the new and useful changes in iOS 10 beta 3. But again, most of the changes were under the hood. There were bug fixes and all kinds of things like that. So we can expect the fourth beta to be released in a couple of weeks. And of course, the final version of iOS 10 in September. So thanks again again for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow actually with a brand new Pokemon Go video. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you soon.